We're on Lake Mendota again, The Rockwall. We've got a bluegill on the line and we're gonna toss it out. I like this place because uh, it has a lot of catfish and also I know there have been confirmed flatheads around here, the three that are in this lake. So let's hope to catch one. All right, I'm gonna toss out into the abyss as far as we can. Live bait. It's a good thing that it's very easy to catch live bait on Lake Mendota. So uh, hopefully we can get something good out of this. I know there's been a flathead cat caught out here, but let's see if we can catch one today. I've been coming to Warner a lot because there have been certified flatheads caught here. There's probably three of them in the lake. I'm hoping to get lucky after dark. It is the day after a rainstorm, so I don't usually do well on these days, but I didn't want to drive out today. So that's why we're launching live bluegills out from the dock. I would do it from the beach and just get in the water, but uh, weather's cold today, so I don't really feel like getting, you know, a cold or anything. So I'm just gonna launch from the wall. I think I got something here. Uh, I might have, or just fell over and now I don't have anything. Oh, it's definitely something. I'm hoping this is a flathead, but by the way it fell over, I'm thinking it was a channel. But don't think it's a walleye, because walleyes uh, aren't this big or heavy. I'm hoping it's not a channel. But by the way, it fell over. I'm thinking it was a channel. It fell over a little bit head slower than most, but different channels are different. So yeah, more channel cats. I've been getting a lot of walleye bites tonight. That's definitely a channel. Um, I've been definitely, that's more of a channel. I'm also hoping for a 30 pound channel by the ways, because I've never caught a 30 pound channel in Mendota. That would break my new PB. Warner is quickly becoming my favorite for fishing for channels. But I just really want a flathead. Is that just too much to ask for? Probably. But let's see. Oh, gotten like five channels, big ones here. This is my fifth one this year. Should be my sixth one. I think one of them got away. Oh, this one's pretty big too. This one's running pretty hard. So it might be bigger than most of them. I don't know. Epic night fight with channel catfish? Yes sir, there's so many minnows here. It's probably like why things aren't biting that much. Because there's so much bait here. This one feels big though. This one does feel pretty big. That's channel. Maybe they start biting now. I see it out there. It's, it's not a flathead, it's a channel. I think I saw it anyways. Such a yeah, it's a channel. And it's not 30 pounds. Darn. Two things that I wanted. Flathead, 30 pound channel. At least a 25 pound one. But this one's Probably 12, 13 again, maybe 14, 15 at the most. Does not look like 20. But uh, yeah, another channel at Warner. Not surprising at all. Oh, come on. Man, these channels have a lot of energy now though. Gotta tire it out. Mm, yeah, it's just, it's not huge. Do you have to tire it out? But yeah, I mean, Warner Park, live bluegills, or cut if you want. If you want to catch the walleye, just cut the bluegill into smaller chunks. But catfish, at this point, live bluegill is a pretty good way to go. Outer wall, inner wall, doesn't really matter, they're about the same. But I'm hoping to get the mythical flathead, but I just keep getting these big channels, which is okay. Because as long as I get content, I'm good. Just could go for another one today, actually. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That one's, uh, I would say 13, 14 pounds. Not a bad fish, but not the giant. Not the giant I'm looking for. All right, I got the net. Now I gotta get this fish in somehow. Always a bit of a challenge when the water is lower. And these fish don't want to stop fighting because they got a lot of energy. 
Look at that. Lost. Big channel. Mendota has no small channels, by the way. They're all big. Look at that. Nice teener channels, but I call them. They're all teener channels here. The only time I've caught a 20 is in the spring. Pre-spawn. Post-spawn when they're fattening up. I don't know why they're all this size. Not much bigger size, but Oh, this one's slightly bigger actually. I can tell the length is a little bit longer on this one. Might be a 15. Might definitely be a 15. Yeah, this one's a little bigger. Whoa, yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. In the bucket, or in the net. See ya. All right, good channel. 14.3, not a bad catch at all, but not the biggest one I've caught him in Dota. 14.3, channel gothelfish. All right, we're here at the gothel release ramp. And the Gato release ramp goes like this. We have a big catfish. And I just kind of put him in the water here. Very shallow. Let him revive a bit. Push him as far as we can. And uh, hopefully he doesn't just tilt over. The catfish release ramp. Not bad. He'll just recover, I think. There we go. Catfish release ramp. Hopefully my other thing doesn't hit while I'm here. And he's gonna just start tilting and then wad off into the lake. He's not afraid of anything. Channel catfish. Some battle scars, but slowly wandering off. That's how they all leave. That was a good fish, but not a mythical one. Not the mythical one I seek. So, let's toss another bluegill way out there. And hopefully we get the mythical one that I seek. Because, uh, although that was a good fish, not the flathead. Alright, I got another one. And I think it's a decently sized one. Just went all the way over there. I needed to retrieve the bell first. I'm going to get the light up. Channels are biting tonight. They just started biting around now. I have some worms, so I'm gonna throw the worms after this. This is my last bluegill, and I wanna keep that one out there, just in case a flatty does actually bite, but this one's definitely a channel. Jeez, these things are wild. This is uh, basically ended up like all my other attempts to catch flatheads on Mendota, with catching a lot of freaking channels. So we'll see if we catch any more tonight, but it looks like they started around to bite around like 11 or 12. Well, not 11 or 12, 10 or 11. So sometimes they bite right after dark, sometimes now. But yeah, it's, is, that, uh, is that a channel? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, I was like, is that a pike? That looked like really small and thin, but it is indeed a catfish. I, was like, I don't think a pike has that much power. But yeah, it is a channel catfish smaller than the other one too. Smaller ones go more crazy when they first bite. Look at that. It's going back out. It's got some fight left in them. It's gonna take a while. I just, I just really want to see that slow pull out of a bait. I'm not seeing it, but the cats are biting them just later than usual. Which means I'm probably gonna stay a little later, just in case a flathead decides to bite over there. But yeah, that's, it's slightly small on the other one. It's not too much smaller. They're all about the same size. If you squint really hard, it might look like a flathead, but it's obviously, it's, oh no, this one might actually be bigger. It's hard to tell, because like I said, they're all about the same size and I got a stick stuck on this now. There we go. Come out, fish. Come this way. You're gonna, Come this way whether you like it or not. So I still need to get my net to get you. But yeah, channel catfish. I wonder if I can just lead it onto the beach actually, probably, but it would be a little bit of a challenge. So we'll just walk it all the way. And it's probably easier just to like land it here. About the same size as the other one, channel catfish. 
I'm gonna go my net. I have to go out on the rocks to land it. So actually dragging it back to shore is the hardest part. Because it is like, like a 10 pound or 15 pound fish. And you have to drag the 15 pound fish on the rocks without like getting yourself killed. So not the easiest thing in the world. It's the thing about landing these fish in, at Warner. They're always on the rocks and you gotta be careful not to kill yourself while landing it. Man, if that was just a flathead, that would be so awesome. But it's, a, it's just a channel. All right, fish, come here. It's actually pretty fat too. This one actually might be bigger, but like I said, very, very hard to tell. It's fat and it's long and I think it's smaller than the other one, but who knows, it might be about the same size. Channel catfish. This one actually weighs more, 15.6. It's not as long, but it's much, much fatter. 15.6, channel guttlefish. All right, back at the catfish release launch thingy. This one is very, very fat. Too, a little too fat. Ate too many things, including that bluegill that I just fed it. Or just got that bluegill. Gotta get it down to the launch. And uh, yeah, it's still a little too fat. So, here we go. The fatter they are, the harder they are to actually let go. That one's a little bit more lively. See ya, fish. See ya. All right, I'm gonna toss some worms so I ran out of bluegills. I'm gonna actually toss the worms a little further too. So, a big glob of worms on the bait as the bait. That is way, way out there. Hopefully, hopefully, cross my uh, fingers, hopefully a flathead comes in. One of the three in this lake. So the last two times I came here, I basically caught all of my uh, catfish just like past this bend area, launching straight out as far as I can. The worms are actually quite a bit further out than um, the uh, bluegills were. So I'm hoping I can catch something different, maybe a walleye, flathead, maybe just another channel. We'll see how it goes. Something that's not a channel I think has hit this. I think it's probably a bullhead. Um, it is definitely not as big as a channel. And it's not a flathead because a flathead would be way bigger. That's a fish. I think it's, is it a bullhead? It's probably a bullhead, right? Oh, oh no, it is a channel. Is it a channel? It doesn't feel as heavy as a channel. It might just be a small channel, but if it's a bullhead, it's a really big bullhead. I'm gonna laugh if this is a sturgeon because that's another mythical fish that I have not yet caught on Lake Mendota, but I know exists on Mendota. It's a, it's a sturge. It's a huge sturge. I mean, if it's a sturge, it's an okay sturge, not huge. Because huge ones, I wouldn't be able to move. But not with this thing. It's feeling more and more like a channel now. Because it's, this feels like a small channel if it's a channel. The channel? Oh, it's a drum. Okay. Okay. Freshy drum. Okay, okay. okay. I didn't think a drum would actually be able to hit. Most drums wouldn't be able to hit something like this, but I guess it's a big enough drum to where uh, I can swallow like a one or two odd. Usually I fish for the fours, but yeah, I forgot. There's a lot of these out here, so I throw more worms out, I guess, and uh, hopefully get a prize fish. But there's a lot of these out there, and maybe I'll get a 10 pound one. Nice drum. There's way more fish than usual at this time of the night for Warner. I guess like fish are hitting later in the night now than they used to. See a drum. There it goes. All right, guys. Toss more worms out there. I have a whole box of them. I don't care about using them all. If I can just catch what I want. We're way out there now. And hopefully that gets us a big fish. Something else much smaller has hit my worm bait. And I must go get it now. It's trying to be big, but it's not that big. Okay, just make sure I can't die here. I think I have another fish, probably another drum, but this one seems a little bit big. Uh, that's a that, that seems like a drum sized fish. And that feels like a drum too. The tap, tap, tap. A little dart. This actually feels smaller than the other one. Surprised they are able to buy, bite. Looks like the drums are a little bit further out. Is there a drum? Let me see. 
it, it feels like a drum. It's, and it's about the right whip. It has a drum, about the same size as the other one, actually. It's not smaller, but that's slightly smaller than the other one. Fresh water drum. Right, I think I'm gonna throw a worm bait closer to shore and see what happens. About the same size as the other one, about the two pound class. I'll see ya. That's it for Warner Park. Failed once again to get my mythical fish, but I did get two big channels and two drum. And uh, yeah, probably gonna return for some walleyes or something sooner or later. Maybe at Tenny, maybe here. But I uh, hope to be back on the river tomorrow. Probably around the Sauk City area. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get some uh, flatheads there. Maybe we'll just get some uh, gar and stuff instead. Got some treble hooks. So, yeah, hopefully be on the Wisconsin tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe, hit the bell notifications button, and I will see you guys next time.